I'm back home on my freaking brown brick wall, but here I am. I'm home. I have bangs. My hair is brown and like kind of blondy. I don't even know. Hey, so I'm wearing the ears that Kaylee made for me and I am home now and my college program ended on the 3rd and it's now the 8th of January. So I figured maybe I would do a haul of all the things that I bought. Now, I'm only doing the Disney things that I bought because I definitely bought way more things than I have. Also, I'm filming on my laptop again because my camera, I left the battery charger in Florida or I lost it somewhere else. I don't even know. So we're using the laptop again until I get my new battery charger like tomorrow from Amazon. So that was dumb. But here we go. All right. So I'm just going to start with the non-clothing items because I have mostly clothes. So the first thing is the Hollywood. No. No. The Haunted Mansion um, Fanny Pack. Um, I bought this in World of Disney. Um, I just didn't have a fanny pack, and I figured, why why the heck not? We already had the 40% discount, so I was like, yeah, I'll do that. Um, it's pretty cute. It's a bit of a statement. Can I clip this? It's a bit of a statement piece. So yeah, I have the Haunted Mansion bag. It's actually pretty, like, it fits a lot of stuff in it, considering that it's a fanny pack, so I'm not upset at all with this purchase, and now I have a fanny pack in case I ever need one. So there's that. Um, one of the favorite things that I got, I got this in the Japan store at Epcot, um, was this. It's the art of Spirited Away. I love Studio Ghibli films, and since I'm an art major, I started collecting these books. Um, I only have one other one. I have The Art of Totoro, but I have some Disney The Art of books as well, but I just, it's so beautiful. It's an excellent reference to have um, as an art major and someone who studies animation A, but also just even the design of this book is good for me to have as a reference, but yeah, I just, oh, it's beautiful. And yeah, I want to build a collection of these, so I'll have like a little shelf going where I have my art of books. So this was a nice thing to add. I still got it for a discounted price. I think we got 20% off during the holidays at the Epcot store. The Epcot stores are weird sometimes because they're not technically owned by Disney. They're like partners. So yeah, but I have this and it makes me really happy and it was a good, pretty, pretty good purchase. Originally it was $34.95. So I think I got it for something like 20 ish, like still pretty close to 30, but a little less. So Woo! Um, what else? I have a bunch of mugs, but I need to unwrap them. So this is probably one of my favorite things. Is this? He's gigantic. I love him. Look, it's my ears. So I don't know. I never posted my gift video, but these were made by Kaylee, one of my roommates. Can I turn it on without taking it off? Or am I? Um, and they're Baymax ears. So, um. Yay. Um, but yeah. Um, these turn on. I don't buy ears, so I was glad that she made us some. I did buy a pair. Can I? A. They light up and they're cute. So yeah. These are Baymax ears. I bought him with the 40% discount. He was something like 50. I got him for 30. So Oh my gosh, he was a pain to bring home. I was like, I didn't think about this when I had to pack my car, but he was fine. He rode in the back seat. I didn't buckle him in though. He didn't have room, so he didn't follow his own rules about always buckle your seatbelt. <laughs> okay, so I'll let him sit right there. He can, he can chill. He's probably gonna fall over. All right, I'm gonna do my pins now. Oh wait, actually. Hold on. Okay, so my roommate Julia bought me this, he's so cute, Remy ornament for the Food and Wine Festival. Will it focus on him or no? But yeah, isn't he so cute? I love Remy from Ratatouille, so that was an absolute thing. And then for my pin training, I got a new lanyard for Star Wars. Um, it has Kylo at the bottom. <laughs> 
And this is one of the pins that I traded, which is like, who the heck traded this away? I mean, it's one of those like expensive ones. It's double backed. So, um, anywho, um, I don't have my pins taken off of my board that they were on in my room. So ignore everything. So I had some of these pins already. So like all of these ones here, I already had, I got this new one this new one which is from like shanghai um all of these star Wars ones star wars ones came with my pin lanyard i have a remy one and i bought this aladdin one too and then i have the toy story ones so i have a couple from mania can i uh. um whoop. i also bought this one which opens which is pretty cool um, yeah, and you can't really see this one. It's the Beware. Oop, it's upside down. <laughs> beware of hitchhiking toys. So yeah, I have like a little Toy Story section dedicated because that was my area. And then this is the special pin we got for traditions. So it's cast exclusive. So they're all, these are the only pins that I have. They're all here on my little cork board. And then I had pictures of my friends and this was hanging on my wall in my room. So yeah, um... I don't want to do clothes yet, but I also don't want to unwrap all these mugs. <laughs> so we're at a bit of a dilemma. Okay. I know which one this one is. It's wrapped so well, I have to take them all back to school with me too, so like, I need to rewrap every single one. you I love it so I had to buy this I knew I was gonna buy it I just it took a while and I bought it whenever we had the 40% off so I had like 40% mm, off it was probably like close to 10 ish dollars because it was about 20 so that's about half so a little bit more than 10 but oh my god I I'm so excited to drink like tea out of this and hot chocolate Ugh. okay wrapping him back up now never gonna do as well as the merchandise people did. Maybe that'd be the one benefit of why I would have liked to work in merchandise. I've gotten really good at wrapping fragile items. So this this mug I didn't buy there, but I'll show it to you anyway. Isn't it so cute? I bought this at Hot Topic. This has nothing to do with Disney, but I had it with me the whole time. It's one of my favorite mugs, and I put it inside my beanie, and then I wrapped it in my scarf, because I didn't have any wrapping for it. So that's nice. Okay. One of these mugs also is not mine. I bought it as a gift. So hopefully I figure out which one that is before I unwrap it. Speaking of that, I should drive over to my cousin's and give that to her because it's for her. Hi, Lonnie. My kitten came to see. Hi, baby. <sighs> I missed them so much. She's so cute. Okay, she hates it. Be free. All right. Um, we're just gonna go for it. I'm gonna put these two in here because I already looked at them. And I don't want to get confused. Oof. Okay. Oh, don't slam that. This one's already unwrapping. Oh, this was one of my roommate gifts. So this also was not bought, but my roommate Victoria made these for us. And I really don't think, I don't think I did anything with the footage from our roommate gifts because I did record it, but I didn't post it. So yeah. Oh, I forgot my little door hook too. You'll, it's in my um, room for, um, Julia made us all little like hooks for our keys. And mine had Baymax on it too, so I have a lot of Baymax items. He's my. How can you not love him? He's the cutest. Okay, so this one looks like I haven't opened it yet, so I'm pretty sure. So this is the one for my cousin. But we'll see. Via process of elimination. Hers is Alice in Wonderland. So I bought these Star Wars mugs, which I think are really cool. 
Um, I don't really like that it says Sturwers, like eliminated the A's, but whatever, it's fine. I think that the design of it is pretty cool looking. And I like that it's tall, like it's the size of my head almost, so. I really like these. I got three of these, including this one. So I have the X-Wing one, and then there's a light side and a dark side one. And yeah, as you can tell, I like Star Wars quite a lot. My family is super into it. So it's a thing. So yeah, there's this one. And hi, Lun. You can just see her tail poking up. Hat. There's that one. And all of these mugs I bought, well, not the Baymax one, but everything else that I bought was that Cast Connection, so all of them were $5.99 before the extra discount we got on them anyways, so there was no way I wasn't about to buy these mugs for that cheap. Um, this is my other one, for sure. Yep. Okay, and then I have this one. I think they're, I just think they're cool and tall, and yeah, I don't know. I didn't really have anything, and I needed dishes, so I was like, you know what? Why not? Okay, where am I at? I think I did everything besides my clothes now. Okay, so I bought this reusable Pandora bag at the very end. So let's, let's do it to it. Oh wait, just kidding. I have one more Baymax thing, but it broke. So I bought this like pin trading one for the bottom of your lanyard, but he fell because I put him on my keys and this wasn't very good. It, there's like a giant gap in it. So he flew off and he chipped on the sidewalk. So he has like a little missing white piece there, which is just really sad, but he's still cute. But I need to get some pliers to like push this back together. I don't know if you can see, but there's a pretty big gap. Please focus. You can see it here, my finger's going through it, even though it's not focused. Like, that is a gigantic gap. So, that's why he flew off. Anyways, alright, so we're in clothes now. I guess I'll start with t-shirts. So, I bought this at Cast Connections. It's a Pirates of the Caribbean shirt. Um, just figured it's something cute to have, and I like to have t-shirts, so... Why not? It was pretty cheap. Anything at Cast Connections that I like, kind of liked, I was like, well, why not? It's cheap, so it's kind of a bad thing. Um, I got this at Animal Kingdom. Um, it's for the safaris, obviously. Uh, it's pretty cute, pretty standard. Um, I just didn't really have any Animal Kingdom stuff besides the other long sleeve shirt that I bought ages ago. And I really like Animal Kingdom. I grew to love it, like, a lot. So I wanted to have more stuff for it. Yeah, this is the other Animal Kingdom shirt I have. I love it. It's the paw. And I like long sleeve t-shirts. So this one is something I'm going to be wearing a lot. Um, whether or not it's, like, for comfiness or, like, even out. Um, doing, like, stuff. Like, I'll probably wear it a lot to my classes at school because I don't really care to dress super nice, so that's pretty casual. I also have this shirt from Pandora. This is the back. Um, I love it. What is, is this piece of hair? Okay. This is a cool shirt. I really like it a lot. Um, and I love Flight of Passage, so I really wanted to get something from Pandora, so I got this shirt. Um, yeah. If you need, if you're going to Disney soon and you haven't been on Flight of Passage, I highly, 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 highly recommend it. It is my favorite ride by far. Um, it blows Soren just out of the water. So, yeah, Flight of Passage, just, I highly recommend it. Um, all right. So I got these Star Wars sh shorts at Cast Connections. They're like the solo-themed stuff, so... Um, even though they have R2 and C3PO on them, like, all of the stuff that came out for Solo has this, like, orangey-pink vibe going on. So I got these shorts, mostly for sleeping in pajama pants, basically. Um, I got the Halloween shirt, one of them. It glows in the dark, which is pretty cool. Um, obviously I can't wear this all the time, like, out, but I can wear it at home whenever I want, like, to bed or whatever, so. But I didn't really have any Halloween-themed clothing, and I figured, hey, why the heck not? Um... So I bought it, 
And I didn't even wait till they were in Cast Connections. I bought it when they were still, it was like October still, so. I have that. Um, all right, I got this at Cast Connections. This is from the Food and Wine Festival. Um, it just says Brews Around the World 2018. It's just really soft. So I figure this will also just be something I wear around the house. T-shirts are comfy, man. You can't go without T-shirts. I could probably not buy any more though, but that's okay. This one was one of the first things I bought at Cast Connections. Um, yeah, it's just a red shirt. I don't really know. It's nothing on the back or anything. It's nothing special. I might cut it up. I don't know. I can't decide. I kind of don't like it anymore, but I have it. Um, what else? Okay, I'm getting to some of my favorite items. Okay, I bought the Christmas Spirit jersey. One of them. It smelled so bad when I bought it. I have no idea. I bought this at World of Disney. All of their Christmas stuff smelled really awful this year, but it has a cute little uh, Mickey on the front. And I feel like I can wear this almost any time of year, especially at the school I go to. We have plaid as our <laughs> plaid as our theme. And since it's not overly Christmassy, except for him wearing the Santa hat, I could probably get away with wearing it, but it's mostly going to be a November 1st through December 25th shirt, me thinks. But yeah, I have a spirit jersey. That's the only one I bought, I think. All right, and then I have these sweaters, sweatshirts. Yeah love i knew i was getting this before i even got there has a little mickey on the back yeah i love it i'm over here all right so yeah and then i didn't even get this until the very end of my program almost but i've been wearing it like all the time is this other sweater <laughs> sweater sweatshirt it's a sweatshirt this other sweatshirt with just this mickey and i love it it's plain it's simple um, I usually don't wear stuff with Mickey Mouse on it, like when I'm at home, and maybe I won't still, I don't know. I feel like it's so weird to wear whenever you're not in Florida, but it's super comfy. Um, yeah, and I'm trying not to care that it's super childish, because literally this other thing that I bought is way more childish. And this is from Etsy. So this is from, um, they just changed the name of their store, so I don't remember. Oh no. I will look it up and put it on. So this is from an Etsy store that I had ordered from in the past. And it's a Winnie the Pooh sweater, sweatshirt. It's a sweatshirt. Um, it has bees on both of the arms going up and down, which is pretty cute. And then on the back, it has a giant Winnie the Pooh. I love him. I couldn't really wear this that much because it's not cold there. So I couldn't really wear it that much. But I think it's so cute. It's pretty well made. Um, sometimes the vinyl on the back feels a bit... You hear that? I don't know. Like, sticky? Like, not... I mean, they did it themselves, so... what? And it hasn't, like, started to peel off or anything, and I've washed it a couple of times, so... Really, I can't complain too much, so... I have that. Um, and then the last clothing item, I believe, is this... Um, like fuzzy sweater. It has a castle on it and it has like the, oop, there's a, it has Walt Disney World at the bottom of it. This was so nice. Um, I really enjoyed purchasing this because it got pretty cold a little bit. I just knocked these off my head a little bit. It got pretty cold. I forgot my other pair of ears. Right? Oh, I, oh, I missed a shirt. He snuck in. Okay, so that's not the last thing. I thought it, okay. Uh, I bought this at Cast Connections as well because it's from the Disney Cruise Lines. This is a Star Wars shirt. It's gigantic. It's a small, but it's huge on me. I always have to roll up the sleeves. And then the back has Darth Vader on it. It's a pretty cool shirt though. So yeah. Yeah, even comparing the back of this to the Winnie the Pooh shirt, like it just doesn't crinkle as much, so. You can tell the difference in the quality, but this was manufactured and that was handmade, so. Which had more love. I also bought these Sorcerer Mickey ears at Cast Connections for $5. Um, I really don't like them that much though because they squeeze my head so much. I don't know, oh, 
that's cute. I don't know how people wear these all day in the parks because they compress my head so much already. I already want to take them off. Um, like the homemade ones are easier because the headbands are like better quality, I would say. Because these are for, they're all one size fits all. So like they'll fit a kid's head or an adult. And I just don't, I don't. So I had these on the opposite way, didn't I? I don't know. These are much better. These hurt way less. Um, so if I ever wanted ears, I would order them off Etsy because these, I only bought these because they were $5. I might, they might have even been less than that because they're, like, broken somehow. I didn't really see anything wrong with them, but I think it's because the ears are a bit crooked. Let's see. So. Um, and now I just have... Oh, my keychains. Dang it, I knew I was forgetting stuff. So I'll go grab those real quick. But I have this backpack I bought at Company D, which is Star Wars. I really like it. It is just little stormtroopers, and it's pretty cute. I also bought this keychain of the the uh, Cinderella Castle, and I bought another keychain. It's on my other backpack. It's the Grape Soda bottle opener keychain, and that was also the same night, I think, that I bought the Baymax one that broke. So I think that's all my stuff. It doesn't seem like a lot. But I spent a lot of money on normal clothes, too. Like, even the sweater I bought down there. And then I washed it, and it got messed up. So, that's the look it has now. But, yeah. Um, I think that's everything. That I would forget stuff. So, I bought hats, too. So, I have this one from Cast Connections. It's for Animal Kingdom. Um... I don't really like it that much but yeah um it's for the 20th anniversary i don't think that oh, whew, with the bangs it's working maybe backwards but yeah so i have this one um i bought this one this is the last thing i bought with my discount um because it was really hot the day the last day i was in magic kingdom and i didn't bring a hat because it was already packed so i have the grape soda hat um, I'd wanted it for a while, but I didn't think I was going to buy it, um, and then it was just really hot that day, and I needed something to protect myself, because I didn't bring sunscreen or anything, literally everything was already packed, so I have the grape soda hat, it's pretty cute, it's just, since it's white, it's kind of easy to get dirty, and it has good little grapes on it, but yeah, I had it for one day, and literally all my makeup rubbed off on it, because I was sweating, and this is my favorite hat, and everyone has this hat, but I don't really care, it's the MU hat, I just love it. It's so cute. I like the fray detail, just like Mike's. Um, but yeah, I bought this when my cousin came down to visit for her first time. And what the heck is my hair? But yeah, I have this hat, and I think it's pretty cute. And I knew I'd forget stuff, so these are my hats that I bought. Oh my god, how do people wear these? Okay. Bye guys, thanks for watching my DCP haul. I am poor now.